1950s ndi murembe gwa babaza ali bamukrumiru enda atano actually just when we turned into 50s i'm in my 70s katinze ndi musanvu msanvu zidangi so i'm not dr mulinde's generation that's the next generation ndi murembe gwa dr mulindo gogwe guddako so age wise is my son mumiyaka muzala and the age wise uh, this one was grandson mumiyaka ono muzikuru but you see i've been involved in the prayer movement since the days of idi amin and we've had many interesting experiences during that time and the two figures who have featured much in the frame in the prayer movement are uh, in uganda and indeed the rest of the world are uh, from uganda it is Dr. Mulinde and Laban Jumba. Abantu ababili abakoze nyo era abalabike nyo mu bikungu bimisinde byokusaba. Ye Dr. Mulinde ne Pasa Laban Jumba. We founded intercessors for Uganda. Twatandikawo echi echi bine echi chabega idiza basabira Rwanda. We founded intercessors for Africa. Intercessors for, for Africa. And we've been involved in many missions uh, of prayer in uh, all kinds of strange places Sudan when they still had war and so on. And we've seen God making changes in the nations of Africa. We have scriptures which belong to us, intercessors. Hey, intercessors, what are our scriptures? Second Chronicles. Uh -huh, that one, then another scripture. Eh? Ruth, Luke 11, yes, Luke 11. Which other one? Ezekiel, I looked for a man to stand in the gap. No, 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 those are our scriptures. There is one I'm not hearing. Eh? Jeremiah, yes, okay. Jeremiah. Okay, oh, that one also is that one. Let me give you the one I have on my heart. Isaiah chapter 58. Oh, you are beating yourself saying I, I know that one is that scripture. Isaiah 58 is the one which talks about fasting. The wrong way of fasting and the right way of fasting. You respond, respond to me and say yes, that is our scripture. Yeah, that is our scripture. Okay. Now, Apostle Mulinde, this is your scripture also like this. But the Lord began to speak to me deeply through that scripture. It says, in verse 12, those from among you, meaning, Praying people, intercessors. Okay, so you re respond and say, that is ourselves. Those from among you, loudly, those from among you, you said that is us. Beat your chest, that is us. Those from among you, that is us. Praying people and intercessors. I am the one adding there in brackets. Okay. Okay. Shall build the wealthy places of Uganda. Now and establish foundations for future generations in Africa. But is in baby Fabia Debias Kevia Uganda and Africa. It all is a missing G. A Jamie Amen. Amina. Meaning, Chitegeza. Dr. Mlinde. Dr. Mlinde. Our next assignment is rebuilding Uganda, Africa. Uganda and Africa. Listen, not in the closet. We begin in the closet, but we go out in the marketplace and rebuild the continent. 
I argued with God regarding this scripture. When he began to speak to me, saying you have obeyed verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we fast properly. We give to the poor during our time of fasting. We give to the poor during our time of fasting. Now our bones will be strong and so on. You know that. Then verse 12. Those from among you praying people and intercessors and people who fast properly. They shall build the old room and set up foundations for future generations. I said, Lord, my role is in the closet. Not not out in the now, in my case, it was terrible. Because I'm part of a movement called mm. Deliverance Church. And our theme scripture in Deliverance Church is Isaiah chapter 16. The Messiah. Masia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me. You know what I'm talking about. First for self. And shall set up foundations for many generations. Exactly what it says in Isaiah 6. 58. So when the Lord was speaking to me as a leader in intercession. I ran away from the room and I but for me I'm a preacher of deliverance then the Lord brought us 61 I was in verse in deliverance <laughs> That the ministry of the Messiah, as you move in the power of the Holy Spirit, you shall build the ruins of massacre. You shall burn this church. I can't hide in the deliverance church. Praise the Lord. I hope you are still following. I want to comment on something. We need to learn to hear God accurately. I have an interesting experience at the end of every year and the beginning of a new year. Every pastor, every apostle, Every evangelist gives a word for the new year. The prophetic word for the new year. Now I listen to those words very carefully. Because the Bible says, when you prophesy, let the other prophets judge. So I sit listening. Those meetings at the end of the year, I hear these powerful prophetic words. Let me tell you what I've been hearing. Much of what I've been hearing has been motivational speaking and preaching instead of biblically rooted prophetic proclamation. proclamation. Hmm. Hey. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Now, when we came to the end of 2019, I had many prophetic words. After a few months, yes, COVID-19. And I went back to the words people had given. <laughs> Uh, I tell somebody, I think there is something amiss with our prophetic words. <laughs> now write this down. In the book of First Chronicles, chapter 12, verse 32. Verse 32. It talks about the sons of Issachar. Uh -huh. Who had understanding of the time. And they knew what Israel ought to do. You remember that scripture? How many of you know that scripture? Sons of Issachar. These days, every pastor, evangelist, and teacher wants to give 
prophetic direction to the body of Christ. Enakuzino buli musumba buli bishop buli nabiyagalaga ichigambo che guanga nchirina kanchibawe. The sons of Isaka. Abana ba Isakari. When you read that chapter, bo some sureyo. It was the smallest number of people. Bebari ba singa wobutono. Two hundred chiefs. Bi ba ina ba ina ba ina ba kuriembeze. The rest of that chapter is talking about a thousands. Abana na ba ukida kwenye kumi. Bano bari ba tono nyu. And the Bible says, Bible yegamba, their kinsmen mti were under their command. Ngabali wansi wabu fuzi wabu. Meaning, chitegeza, we need to humble ourselves, brethren. Banange tukakanavo Uganda. To listen to the prophetic word from the sons of Isaka. To ulireba Isaka alichebogede. Rather than Every tribe, the tribe of Judah was supposed to be kings, they also prophesied. The, those from Benjamin, they're supposed to be doing other things, they're also saying that the nation should go this direction. That is the confusion of the book of Judges. In the, book, in, the in Uganda today, in the leadership of the church, with that we have that confusion. From every tribe, Judah, Benjamin, they are prophesying the direction of the nation should be. Then, 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 then Judah comes, you know, we should go that direction. Then, uh, why are all the other tribes getting out of my head? Uh, okay, the, the Levites are saying we go that. This is the confusion. This is the confusion of, the book of judges. I believe God has brought us together today. And this is what came to me last night and early this morning. The departure of of our son and the coming of our sister faith faith is going to be a Ruth moment a Ruth moment of moving from the confusion to to receive prophetic direction to the future. Somebody say amen. If you have good ideas, those are good ideas. But it, you don't have prophetic grace. Na yechi se choku la gula. It's just cho. a good idea you have. Gori na chilo uzo. You be humble and say. Bera mweto wazo gambe. President, I have a good idea. Abo Uganda. Zini na chilo uzo. Sichi gambo cha muaka. Eh, don't, don't, don't say the Holy Spirit has said to me. Toga na mwe ya chingambi ye. Kanchibo oche mchulile. Eh, you, you, you don't come from the tribe of Isaka. Tofu mtu ka. Tova mchikacha Isaka. Tova angaku. Praise the name of God. Kama all right, sorry, we are laughing. But, but I believe God is giving us a direction and listen very carefully. You remember the story of 2 Kings 2020? 2 Chronicles. You remember King Jehoshaphat? Was attacked by many you know, armies. He called the whole nation in Jerusalem. To call upon God. And they arose, sorry, and, and they gathered there. And they were praying. Calling upon God to help them. Then somebody, a Levite, the Holy Spirit came upon him and he prophesied. Do you remember that? All right, I don't want to read all of these because there are many. Uh, we so, don't have all the time. So in the world. So, but remember it. Yes. Now afterwards, the king, the king stands up. And it says, Nagamba. the Bible says, they arose early in the morning and went out in the wilderness of Tekoa. And when they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you'll be established. Believe his prophets, and you'll succeed. 
How can a king who is up there bow to the prophetic word of this Levite who is, by the way, he was not one of those powerful ones, he was one of the lesser ones. But he received that word. He moved Israel in the right direction. And they had victory. Praise the name of God. Okay, now let me dare Kale. in closing Mukumariza. it is going to be a long closing but uh, not, not, not forever. Not forever. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last point. Although it is a long point, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I have made several points, I believe. But this is the final one. We celebrated Jubilee as a nation in the year 2012. I had not understood God's I had not understood God's seasonal cycles. Uh, I had not understood it earlier than that. I knew the daily cycle, day and night, day and night. Those are the seasonal cycles. And I knew the weekly one, which God commanded. I knew the And I knew the weekly one, which God commanded. Every seven days, you, you have to cycle again. Right? Then I knew the monthly one. Governed by the, governed by the moon. Then I knew the annual one. But now we're celebrating Jubilee. Yes, which was celebrating the cycle of 50 years. 50 years. And as a preacher, people are calling me to, pre to preach and to tell them about Jubilee. What does it mean? I'm sorry for them, they didn't know. I also didn't know. So I went to the Bible to start studying. In our movement of prayer, it was Dr. James Magara who started the Jubilee thing. But you see, he's my spiritual son. So they expected me to know even more. They invited me, I had to go back to the Bible and study. And I studied. I prayed. Waited on the Lord. He began to speak to me. We used to make five-year plans. God was saying every seven years, allow the land to rest. Every seven years, release slaves. Every seven years, release debtors. So there is this seven-year sabbatical Cycle. I remembered Joseph in Egypt seven years of famine, seven years of Yusufu Miyaka Musambu Zanjara Miyaka Musambu Zanjara. So works in cycles of seven years, not your five year plan. Mukama Korea Munkurungu Yamiaka Musambu Sigwe Yamu Mate Safengo where is a Tamburi that waited. When we ended Jubilee, but what is a Jubilee? I said, Lord, now, what is your plan for the next seven years for Uganda? Take a take a chijuline Miyako Musambu, Iri Gwanga in Uganda. I prayed. Waited. After a few weeks, weeks in Antonotono, the Lord spoke to me. Come and I get an angi. As a nation, Gwanga, you are entering into seven years of plenty. Muyingida Miyaka Musamwe J. Chingida, twenty thirteen, Biri Kuminesa to twenty nineteen, Paka Biri Kumina Muenda. Have you got it? Muchifunya. I try to preach around. Hey, but uh, people are not very receptive. But I decided to write a book. Some of you know my book with the you know with the fla with the a fruit on the cover. It is called Jubilee and Fruitfulness. In that book, I put it there very clear from 2013 to 2019, we're going to experience seven years of plenty. Here in Uganda, these seven years were indeed seven years of plenty. Kampala City experienced tremendous transformation. Kampala City seven years of plenty. Makere University got a facelift. Makere University nefuna facelift. 
Hey. Seven years of plenty. Miaka msambu jachenge. Many new roads were constructed across the country. Ngudo nyinje zazi mbiwa mguanga. Many new buildings, apartments have become apartments. Zimbe nyinje chigaba apartment ni chivu ganyo nyo nyo. Businesses and factories were built. Business na ama koredo ni bizimbiwa. We graduated from... Uh, Retail shops, this is small duka. Netuva mbuduka buno, ubutoni nyo. Shopping malls and big supermarkets. Netugenda mbisema duka na maduka mani nidara. How many of you know there were seven years of plenty? Bamekaba chika kasanti miyake iju musambu, juju jibate jache ingine. Let me talk about churches, because that's what you know. Kari, neku kanisa kubaicho che mumanyi. Churches expanded and built huge um, buildings and cathedrals. Um, kanisa gagazi wanega zimbe bizimbe bia manyi. Seven years of plenty. Miyake musambu jache ingine. We built radio stations and TV stations. Juju zimba radio stations. Seven years of plenty. Now, do you agree, church people, that there were seven years? Abo Uganda, muchi kiri za bili kuminesa tupaka bili kumina muenda jari ya chengira. People started advance their careers. Men got PhDs. Abo Uganda, what is a PhD? Video kumpi, guwebuza nene iba uya, ndibanga dokita. Seven years of plenty. Miaka musambu. Millions traveled abroad. Abo Uganda, nene bafurumama wanga. Seven years of plenty. How many of you agree that this was God's prophetic word? All right. Hey, I, you are not convinced yet. Okay. Okay. When we came to 2017, God reminded me of a vision I had received 30 years earlier. That Christians were leaving the urban areas and building new communities in the countryside with modern homes with flashing toilets and they had electricity they built factories and industries in their farms in the countryside not only agro processing but they were doing many other things and I looked at the vision 1987 I was overwhelmed 30 years later 2017 God spoke to me the time has come for this to be fulfilled I looked around all over the country for land 2018 I got 61 acres in the Bende district. My brother, uh, who is my assistant, my Timothy, Muganda wange, Timothy wange. Eh, if, uh, he's an uh, um, engineer, Charles Odonga. Engineer Charles Odonga. With him, we got 93 acres in Guru. Twafuna acres chenda musatu Guru. We began building the villages I had seen 30 years earlier. We were delaying and moving slowly. 2019, God spoke to me. The seven years of plenty are coming to an end. You are going to enter seven years of drought. Spiritual drought. Economic drought, social drought. Don't be slow any longer. Move very quickly. Establish those villages. Because they will become like Noah's ark. To save millions, millions of people from the flood which is coming upon the world in the next seven years. They will become like Goshen. Where men will get food and protection in the seven years of drought. So, I mean, I told you we moved 2018 and then 2019. Yeah, so, we began building. We began farming. Now, Pastor Laban was began to be a farmer. You Pastor Laban began to be a farmer. But I'm not a farmer. 
I am a pastor. Ndi musumba. Now pastoring whole villages. Asumba ebyaro. Not pastoring a congregation. Si chibi, si kusumba chibina. But I'm pastoring a whole village. Na yesumba ebyaro chiramba. One of the reasons I run back. Nsonga ruachi na ze. To sign agreement to buy more land. Nsaininge. Mbeke take dalari yengura. So I, so I did the whatever was necessary. Came back to listen to me. Ulida. We have entered very uncertain times in the world. But especially here in Africa. God has given us direction. And I'm sharing it with you now. I don't know what is coming. Some of you have been praying COVID ends. It will end. But will continue another few years. Because God has spoken. So you've got that. Word. The Lord began to tell me to move quickly to establish the countryside Christian villages. I think I've said that. Let me jump it. However, Na ye? during the seven years of drought, the church will experience a drastic shift. It's going to change. God will reshape it to become his tool for social economic transformation of the nation and the continent. Like Joseph who is a type of Jesus Christ and is a type of the church. He moved out of prison and restored Egypt to God's original vision and dream. The Lord Jesus yes, is going to move in the church at this time to transform the continent and transform Uganda. Uganda. Why? Why during the drought? Because drought brings about conditions that make it easier to make drastic decisions. The love of our churches very much. Congregation. For us pastors, they, they bring in the tithes. And uh, is it uh, yesterday they opened the churches? Yesterday, but one. Yes, okay. Sunday. We are very happy. Now, I had never imagined church people can accept to close their churches. Except that a drought came. But for me, God had spoken to me that the future of the church in Africa is not congregation. Powerful, powerful pastors should get a square mile of land. Set up a community of tens of thousands. Set up factories and cottage industries there. Not only agriculture and agro processing, but other industries as well. Make furniture. Metal fabrication. Metal. Madinisa. Yes, okay. Um, produce shoes, mukurenga to belts, MCP, computer bag, computer, usawa computer, suitcases, insawo handbags, insawo zavacha, suitcases, briefcases, dresses, mifariso, make garments, mukurebi ambalu, sweaters, mukurama sweater, get sophisticated. Get sophisticated and make uh, cookers and fridges. Mutuaribi nitu kumutindo. Tukorene friji, tukorama kuka, nama motoka. Engage and employ the thousands who are at the moment going to the Middle East into productive workforce. Enkumine enkumye zibu kanga zigenda. Mubu warabu kukora. Tuzitase, tuzitere we mirimu, tuzijue. Labani, uli inga avude kumuramua. No. Labani, we came for the barrio. No. Listen. It is only the church. It's only the church. Which is 
able to do this listen to me politicians are not able they have tried since independence and young men are singing a song hey, oh, let's get another leader I have heard that song since, since independence oh. for me I was already grown up at Uganda's independence we have Uganda heard that definite. song which you've been hearing every regime but the one we sang that song oh, then, mm -hmm. again. then after that we sang another and God brought you mm -hmm. oh, there we said oh, another and God brought all the other that song is not new so young people sing they are singing a new song for me I have heard that song before the is not politicians the answer is not economists it is Joseph who changed the issue eh, the politicians are pharaoh eh, they had run out of ideas I had a bottle talk about inve foreign investors, foreign investors after 60 years we are singing the same song Tubareta. All those factories you see on Guru Road, the new ones, ones, the ones on Bombo Road, yeah, that's Guru Road, yeah. the ones on Mitiana Road, the ones on Road, the ones on Mitiana Road, the ones on Road, have been seeing those small factories. It should have been you, Gandhi, but the way. Christian leaders establishing those villages in the country. Those factories should be in your church. Employing thousands of people there. A few weeks ago, I, uh, details I will not tell this story. Our LC chairman, LC chairman mobilized 80 people saying our pastor Musumba wa listen to this, this is power. Ulira, ulira, ulira. Our pastor, by the way, it is several OCs, a big, big place. He's calling us to his home to share with us his plans for development of our village. And they came. Eight of the, I have pictures. Amen. Amen. Churches had not opened yet. But for me, the LC church. A, a, church, a church meeting hey. and the pastor was preaching I gave my testimony of salvation I told them about seven years of plenty and they were saying yes. seven years of drought they were saying yes and I told them we are going to develop the village how? I shared with them. They were so excited. They talked until it was getting to curfew. They commanded the chairman of the village. Let Pastor invite us another time. These things we want. Early in the morning, God was speaking to me in prayer. Did you see the church I gave you yesterday? <laughs> Without permission from government. <laughs> Sorry, the stories are very exciting. <laughs> the many new factories along Masaka Road, Jinja Road, Guru Road, Mubende Road, Hoima Road should have been initiated by you pastors and located in your Christian communities in the African countries. These communities will become our sustenance. Providing a comfortable home. The food. Work. Social services like education, medical, medical care, for both our church communities and the surrounding village. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Sorry, I can't go into the details of the next, uh, so the, the next aspect of this. Mochino Time is gone. But the picture God has been giving to me is Abraham. Abraham. Abraham, Abraham had a family of 380. Abasajja. Abasajja. Young men. 
Genesis 14:14 write it down. Luberebere 10 and 18. Luandi ko simpaka 18. These young men had wives. Abasajja bano bali bafumbo. Meaning they had 636. Shitegeza nga wali wa bachara bona wa munga bali murukaga. They had children. Nobody na nabana. And those Bible days every family was a tribe. Enako ezo atebuli family chabanga chika. So you're talking of a household of Abraham to get up in your by a Ibrahim of about 2,000 people in my band to gain come a bit Maka guy Ibrahim they were all spiritually mature bonanga momo yoba kuru do you remember Eliezer? Mujuk Eliezer. The one he said should be my heir. Gweba tu gweyaria gamati ya waya ribera musi. You remember how he sent him out to get a wife for his son? Mujuk Eliezer mat baba mutu magendare te umuchara wa Isaka. Tell somebody the man was spiritual. Ba kugu gamati umusaji yari wa mu yunga yugera nini miwori yao? Where did he come from? Yavarudawa from Damascus. Damasco. Abraham. Ibrahim. Why don't you choose a fellow Muganda? Wachi toronda Muganda muno. Come your heir. Na kusikira. This one from Southern Sudan. Ona ve South Sudani. Mwagazachi. <coughs> there was no tribalism in Abraham's family. Mwumakaga Ibrahim ungatemuli kusosora mawanga. He mentored them. Yabate endeka. Brought them up in the fear of God. Naba kuriza mkutia kwa katoni. When God commanded him to circumcise. Katoni wa yamura giro oku 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 oku. Chapter 17. He circumcised all of them. They were partakers. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> they were partakers of the promises of God. Let's talk about the little girl called Hagar. She was a dark skinned girl from Africa. But Sarah had many girls. Sarah, yeah, you know, banji, brown somewhere, white, and like that. By the time a woman trusts a little girl, Omuchara, what to grow with Sigaka, what a mother, Kafuke mom, for her children, it means Haga was a very good girl. Yalimuara Murunji, dark skinned, the Sosuruga, very good, Menga Murunji. So intercessors don't like Haga. Those problems came because of the mistake Abraham made. Okay, let me conclude. Dr. Mulinde, Dr. Mulinde, you are a prayer warrior and an apostle. Apostle means the founder and builder of churches. As my son, age-wise, and colleague in the prayer movement, our next assignment, according to Isaiah 58, verse 12, Isaiah 61, is to now turn our physical and social and spiritual energies to build a new Africa. We have lost many of our sons and brethren in recent months. Let us turn the anger and the emotion into fresh spiritual energy and determination to build a new Uganda, to Uganda Empire. and a new Africa. Na Africa Empire. I have written this vision in books. Mubutabo. We, call, we call them the Africa books. Uh, three of them. As I sit down, the one with the vision, I saw a new Africa. It's a big book. Kanene. At 50,000. Then the other book is The Four Giants who are confronting Africa and how to face it. And then the third Africa book, I think I left it there, uh, is the book on Let Africa My People Go. It was launched by the First Lady in 2013. Uh, first lady in Bili Kuminesa. That one is only 20,000. I carried a few copies. Copy in Let us pray.
Lord our God We thank you for this turning point In the history of the church When you have brought out the truth of your daughter Ruth And the way it was a turning point in the life of Israel The Messiah Masia. Who was supposed to come from the family of Elimelech? Elimelech. The devil had closed that root. But you used the root to come back with Naomi. Naomi. And they used that scripture of a kingdom man redeemer, which the devil had forgotten about. And the family line of our Lord Jesus Christ was re-established. May you perform similar miracles. Through this family of the Mulinde. Lord, we are praying. That what I've shared with my brethren. What we have heard today. May be the turning point. In your next plans for Uganda. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Forgive all my sins. God bless you very much. Let's give the Lord another hand of praise for Elder and Pastor. Lamb.